so we're streaming live with you this morning on behalf of our three churches at Allerton by Water and Kipritz as well. So a really good morning. Um, if you're on the email or on the school distribution, then you hopefully have got the words in front of you for our all age survey. So if you have got the words, please join in with all the words that are involved and all the lovely singing that we're going to be doing today. Um, we've got absolutely some really lovely, lovely hymns. I also sent you a copy of a sort of person cut out and hopefully if you've got that, yeah, get it to hand, maybe with a pen, doesn't matter if you haven't put it out, it's fine. Each one of those represents you and your family. If you haven't got that, then the prayers are coming a bit later on in the service. So during maybe the first hint, you might want to just go and get a piece of paper and a pen, maybe just draw just a, a character which represents you and your family. And so we'll be coming back to those, as I say, later on. So our theme today is Jesus being the vine and us staying connected to Jesus, to God through Jesus. So that's the theme, staying connected to God, but also with each other. And that's what our talk and our prayers are going to go over. So let's begin with our opening prayers. Lord, speak to us, that we may hear your word. Move among us, that we may behold your glory. Receive our prayers, that we may learn to trust you. Amen. So we're going to begin with our first hymn, which is I Want to Walk with Jesus Christ.
Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us as we hope in you. Amen. We're now ready to say sorry to God. We say sorry to you for all the wrong things we have done. Forgive us, Lord, for we are sorry. We say sorry to you for the wrong things we have said. Forgive us, Lord, for we are sorry. We say sorry to you for the wrong things we have thought. Forgive us, Lord, for we are sorry. sorry. And we say sorry to you for the things we have failed to do, failed to say, and failed to think. Forgive us, Lord, for we are sorry. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all, who truly repents, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in our goodness and keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're now going to sing our next hymn, which is number 299. Jesus put this song into our hearts. I think it's probably a little clapping that could happen at this one. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> talk this morning is uh, about staying connected and our, our Bible reading today speaks of Jesus as the vine, as a tree 
and that we are the branches of that tree. Where Jesus lived, there were many grapevines, so he knew his followers would know a lot about them. A healthy vine produces grapes, but it needs the branches to stay attached to the trunk, and it needs sunshine, water, and people to take care of it. Then it will bear many grapes, or as Jesus said, much fruit. However, the only way that vine will produce the grapes is if its many branches stay connected to the tree. As you can see in our picture here, lots of grapes on it. Right. Um, well, Diane found this branch in her garden lying on the ground. It, it wasn't very hard to find. <laughs> because it was quite big. But basically, they thought they'd do this because it's, it's funny to see the vicar, yeah. you know, holding it up. But yeah, this broke off an absolutely beautiful tree in our garden. And look at it now. Yeah, look at it. It's hardly any leaves and there's no real sign of life left in it. It's broken. So if it came from a fruit tree, it would never have any fruit on it. What happens to it? It withers up and it dies. It's no good for anything except firewood. But the healthy branch, still growing on the tree, will produce leaves. And if it's a fruit tree or a vine, it will, take, uh, it will produce tasty fruit like the grapes. So, if you could put those on for it, really, stick those on. We've got the healthy vine and the not so healthy one. So, we've seen the broken tree, and now we've got a lovely healthy branch and we've got the lovely fruit. Just go a bit near the camera. Yeah, yeah, that's it, really. Yeah, showing, um, and you can see uh, beautiful grapes that we can eat or can be turned into wine. That's what Jesus wanted the people to understand as he told his story about the grapevine. He wanted them to realise how important it was for them to stay connected and be nourished by him. He told them, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, you will have much fruit. But apart from me, you can do nothing. And I think it's clear from our branches which we would rather be. Mm. <laughs> Jesus wants you and me to produce fruit in our life. He wants us to follow him and be kind and gentle, generous and loving. Can we do that on our own? I don't think so. Just as the branches must be connected to the vine before they can produce fruit, you and I must stay connected to Jesus to produce the good fruit that God expects of us. If we keep our life close to Jesus, we will grow. Our life will be healthy and productive. We need Jesus to help us flourish. If we're separated from him, as we have seen, our leaves will wither and die and never bring forth fruit. So let's all be the good vine. Let's remain with Jesus and allow him to grow good fruit in us. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Do you want to leave them on the table so that we can see them as well? That's all right. That's you. Thank you. Thanks, Trudy, for leading us and explaining the word to us this morning. Bless you. Um, and Lily for helping. This is where your character that I was mentioning earlier comes into effect. So these represent me and you. I'll come away from here. These represent me and you. So it's time to get yours there, sort of ready. And just at the moment, 
you know, just hold it. This represents you and all the people on your heart and mind, maybe your loved ones, your, your family, the people that you know. Just think about how you've made that effort over the last year to stay connected with all of those challenges. I've never used social media so much to stay in contact with so many people, but I've also used the phone. I've also used, you know, distance walk, <laughs> sitting on a bench <laughs> two metres away from a friend <laughs> in the cold, as we all have. We've stayed connected though, haven't we, the best we can. I even got a lovely letter the other day, a handwritten letter from someone who I know, which I very much appreciate because you don't get them very often, do you? So it's us staying connected. So we're going to put all of us, the people that are here, because we've got the choir and the music group here. This is us. You've got yours at home. Keep hold of it. We're going to just put all of ours here now, and Diane and Lily are going to come and connect them together, literally, stapling them together to represent all of us staying together. So you probably just maybe need to hold yours up to the camera. Okay, so can you ladies come and just literally connect us together? And we've got some from music group and some from choir. If you want to hand, hand them to Keith, and music group, if you want to maybe hand yours. Thank you. So this is us staying connected with each other. So we've tried to do that as best we can as a church community. We've tried to do that as communities across the team. Even with all of those struggles in the last year, we've managed to stay connected in a very different way. But then we're literally, literally getting joined together here. You can see. Thank you. So they're literally making a chain. Remember those chains that we used to do when we were little? I remember my children making a chain of people. So keeping that in our head of how we can flourish and nourish each other, staying together. But then as Christians, we know, as that reading said, and as Trudy broke that down for us, we know that actually we need to stay connected to God for that nourishment and for that enabling of us to flourish. And we do that by getting to know Jesus and staying connected to Jesus. So where's our Jesus character? I want to bring Jesus into the picture. So the way we can do that is by carrying on our worship, carrying on our praying. And praying is really different for all of us. We all connect to God in really different ways and we can all pray it really, really differently. Your character at home, you can use that as a prayer focus, you could use a candle, you could use a stone, you could use anything. You could be praying at meal times, we could be praying at the end of the day, thanking God for the day. We could be all throughout the day just noticing things around us and just acknowledging God in our world. That's all prayer. We can have some formal prayers, like the Lord's Prayer that we're going to say together in a moment. But staying connected to God through Jesus means praying and talking to him and listening. So can we connect? Yep, can you just hold it up for people at home to see? So to enable us to yet stay together as community, we have to put Jesus at the heart of everything that we do and say. So that he can be our nourishment. This is looking very, very lovely. We're also going to add on to there. So we've added on our communities and the people that we know. We're going to add on, or I'm going to ask them to add on all the people on our team prayer list that we pray and I send round, all the people that we've been praying for in our communities and remembering the people who are grieving. And remember those who've died. So that's the people from our team prayer tree. Can they be added on? Because we pray their names to Jesus for Jesus to name them before God. 
So we help those people be connected to God by our own prayers for them. And then I think we've also got one for India. So we think about the world at the moment, particularly India, but there are other countries as well. We're so struggling. This one's representing India. So again, we're praying for India, we're naming them before God through Jesus so that they, so that God hears their name in front of him. So look at our lovely, lovely prayer. And you'll have some at home. And we can't physically pin them. But we just pray that you know that you are connected, even though I physically can't take yours and add them on. We can do that spiritually, can't we, and virtually. And seeing that all of our prayers, all of the people, whether we know them or not, we name them before Jesus. Jesus takes them to God and stays connected. So can we fully connect the circle? I'm going to add them to our tree, reminding us the tree, the cross, reminding us that we stay connected to Jesus, we get to know God better. So that's our encouragement today. Let's carry on praying. Not just for ourselves, but for people in the world, the people on our hearts and minds, and making sure that Jesus is in the middle of all of that, and that we stay connected to him. So we're going to sing, we're going to sing our next hymn, which speaks about that abiding with Jesus and staying connected to him. finish with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory of yours, now and forever. So keeping connected to God through Jesus to be nourished and to enable us to flourish. Thank you, Dan. So we're now going to share God's peace together. So because we can't shake hands, maybe we will just wave at each other and smile. The peace of 
the law we always give you. And those who you.
sort of restarting that. Um, by the 6th of June, we should then be actually open. So we're hoping to open here at Sullington on Pentecost, 23rd of May. So the 6th of June might be looking a bit different because we actually can't sing as a congregation. So at the moment, we're singing um, because we're leading the worship. But when we actually open, unless the government changes the rules, which we're praying, that's what we need to pray for, that the rules for singing get changed. So our next door later, we will be open. So you can join us in person and we'll have to sing. You will be singing, you might just have to hear the singing rather than doing that. We'll have to see, won't we? But please join us. And then just forward a bit more after that, on the 4th of July, that all age is a pet service. We're going to celebrate our pets and the love of animals. And that possibly might be an outside worship room. Might have to be. We'll see. But we'll let you know. But make a note of that, the 4th of July, having a pet service. We were going to do it last year, and obviously COVID took over. So we're going to celebrate that. And if you haven't got a pet, it's still a service to come to. Because we just want to celebrate uh, God's creatures. So just to uh, give you those dates, the 6th of June and the 4th of July. Today, um, after this service, at 12 o'clock on Zoom is our annual church meeting where we're looking back on the last year and on our financial report and annual report and electing wardens and PCC members. So I've sent you all the details if you're on the Swillington email team. Uh, email distribution. Uh, so please join us if you can. That's at 12 o'clock on Zoom and all the details were on the email that I sent yesterday. Um, birthdays. I only know of one birthday and that was last Sunday and I didn't know about it so I'm doing it this week. It was Yvonne Stephen's birthday here at Swillington. Um, so last happy birthday Yvonne if you're watching. And if you've got a birthday at home, any other birthdays? No? We're keeping quiet. Bless you. Um, if you've got any birthdays that you want us to celebrate, um, then please, please let us know. So happy birthday if you've got a birthday at home. Bless you. So that's it for our notices. Thank you for joining us and uh, have a really good week. Stay connected to each other and to God. Bless you. Thank you, Diane. We go into the world. Listening to God, walking in God's light, rejoicing in God's love, and reflecting God's glory. Amen. Amen. And for our final hymn is Jubilate. This is definitely one for singing. Uh, that's the fact that we're singing.
blessed grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. God bless you. Brenda, now you can play. Bless you.